In this video, we're going to be looking at the top five most useless VR accessories and their better alternatives. Hello and welcome back to the VR Cauldron for your VR news, reviews and entertainment. If that's your thing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a video. You can leave anytime you like. And well done to Neil Card who got all of the clips right from the last video. So today we'll be looking at the top five most useless VR accessories. So just a little disclaimer, some of the items that we're going to talk about today are actually not bad products, they're just not really needed, or they might be a bit useful, but they're just not very good. So, number five. The official Oculus Quest 2 case. What do you think about that? I don't think they're going to be very happy. So the Quest 2 case is actually sort of useful if you've got a Quest with an Elite strap or an Elite battery strap or the original strap. But any other strap won't fit because it is moulded on the inside. Well, it's not moulded, but it's like specifically done for this strap. It won't fit the Deluxe Audio strap. It won't fit the most of the other aftermarket straps. Also, it's got a zip on the inside of it. So when it closes, you've got this weird kind of gap around there, which I think is meant to be a stylistic choice, but what then happens? Sometimes it disappears inside or it gets a bit jammed. Yeah, that, it's like a little tiny piece of string that is used to open it up. You can get, get caught inside there and now you can't open it up anymore. Also, close. also, because the zip is on the inside, if you put something in there like a bag of accessories, the zip gets caught on, on that bag of accessories because mm. it's inside. So, what's better than this? My mini suitcase! <laughs> Ooh, with the <laughs> carry handle. So this is the case from Navitech, which has not been available for some time, but it's back actually now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Back on Amazon. Is it any good then? Yeah, it's 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 hard. Oh my. Yeah, I mean, pink? they're all pretty hard. I think they're just made of yeah. cardboard inside, but they're um, hard cardboard. It's very roomy. Fits my... What, what am I using again? What's my uh, head strap? The X Super Home. Oh, yeah. Strap. The one that was squeaking. And that's a big strap, that is. That is that's a very a really that's big a strap. That's a beast of but a strap, But it fits really. that one as well. It fits all of them, this one does. You've got these um, Velcro fasteners here that you can take off. So if you've got something that was even bigger in there, you could potentially take that off. So you've got even more space. When you come to open it, you do have to make sure that things don't fall out. So kind of like, you know, open it where you've got a soft surface because very often I forget which way around I've put things in and maybe things can can drop out a little bit. Okay. So, and it yeah. opens upside down, doesn't it? It does. The zip's so upside down. The zip, the zip is here. Um, so because the zip is there, really, it should have been up here. Yeah, and also when it is carried like that, if you can undo that, Look at the mesh. The mesh is upside down. Yeah, so the mesh so can everything then... falls out. Yeah. So I would say, don't think of that mesh as a storage, but what it does do is it pushes down on top of the stuff that's in there to kind of make it a bit more bit secure. secure yeah. yeah. I think they just put everything a bit backwards for that, okay. unfortunately, but otherwise I do absolutely love it. It's okay. brilliant Maybe for my big strap. And I use, at the moment, the VR Panda case, which uh, is a bit more compact than the Navitech case. This is available from uh, AliExpress. I haven't seen it on... Amazon. So this holds everything I got, just about anyway. Uh, currently I am not using a big strap. So it's got room for my Antlion Mod Mic, which is very good. It's got the Quest in there with this um, VR pad, so it is quite compact at the moment. Uh, it's got two little things, which are actually for the controllers, but I've got a battery in there. I've got my lenses in there from VR Wave, which are uh, excellent, and a charging cable as well. So it's got room for all of that. If I didn't have all of these accessories in, I could get um, lots of different straps in here as well, including a Halo strap. Uh, the Deluxe Audio strap fits in here. I think, uh, I don't think yours will, the X Super Home one, and also the larger that don a LIGO strap but this is a very good case and it does take a lot feel free to ask in the comments if you want to find out what exactly fits in here but it's very very good indeed number four the magnetic charge kit which uh, involves replacing the uh, battery compartment on your controllers with this which is basically the same again but with a hole in it and then on the inside there's going to be a battery 
a rechargeable battery with a magnetic thing, and then there's a magnetic charge cable that just clunks onto there, so whenever you need to charge it up, you go plunk, and it's done. So it's actually a good product, yeah? Mm -hmm. It works really, really well. However, I'm gonna put this battery compartment onto this in there, and it's got a nice hole, so I'll be able to easily get through the hole, but... You can't get to that bit? Yeah, you can't get to the hole, can you? Because you've got a cover on. So if you've got any sort of, of cover on, you're gonna end up having to take all that out anyway to get to it, and then once you've done all that, you might as well just replace the battery, or just take the battery out and charge it up again. So, instead of having a magnetic charge kit, what do you reckon we should have, Jess? Nothing, because batteries last ages. Yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah, save your money. <laughs> save your money. <laughs> It is, it is kind of cool, but mm. just not really needed. They do last for absolutely ages. So I've actually started using the rechargeable batteries on my Quest 1, because the batteries don't last for ages. Sadly, mm. I can't put these on, so I just have to slide them off, put the charge things in, and it does it charge them up nicely. But for the Quest 2, not needed. So, useless. Sorry. Number three. In at number three, we have got these earmuffs. I thought it looked like a ladle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not useless at all then. You could use it for that. And, because it's silicone, heat resistant. It looks like a spoon. It does look, it does like, look a like a spoon, spoon doesn't, doesn't it? it? Will, you're right. So, uh, basically, these slide onto the side of the, uh, the Quest. And they cover your ears mm -hmm. like that. And the sound that comes through the strap, it kind of goes inside there instead of escaping into the world and it's meant to make the sound better. Right, okay. However, so it's to trap the sound? Sort of. But however, it just kind of makes it a bit more echoey. Right. It doesn't make it better sound quality or anything like that. It just, it, it is different. And you kind of put it on, you go, oh yeah, yeah, that's different. But it's not really better. Is it like it's an just, earmuff, like an earmuff? It warmer. is like an earmuff, except it doesn't <laughs> have the fluff on it. It just covers your ears. When I actually did these, I put them on wrong. They're a bit floppy. <laughs> so what alternatives do we have to these then, Jess? The Kiwi earphones. So you found these really good, didn't you? Yeah, they're all right. right then. I so mean, I, I, tend, I tend to not use them. You don't bother either, do you? I don't like um, a lot of noise in my ears because um, basically I don't deafen, my, I don't deafen myself. His <laughs> hearing is absolutely atrocious because <laughs> when he has headphones in, like I can hear it from another room. It's so loud. And then he just wonders why he can't hear me when I say things to him. I'm not going to say it. Pardon? Anyway, <laughs> Pardon? Nice and small, they look. Yeah, decent sound quality and yeah. they're pretty cheap as well. They're designed to fit into the one side of the Quest and then have the right length cable, so it's quite good. Um, like I said, I don't really use anything. Uh, I, I quite like the sound as it is. I think it's loud enough. I don't yeah. even have it on full volume, to be honest, because I like to be able to hear what's going on around me as well. Um, mm. You know, I mean, if you've, if you've got um, people in the house that might need to speak to you, then really it's kind of like... Unless you want to properly ignore them. Well, some people <laughs> do like that full total so immersion. Yeah. Where they yeah, put the nose covers on so they can't see below. Yeah. They put the bigger, they like having yeah. bigger sound. So they might use the Deluxe Audio strap for the really good sound that that has, or other solutions over overhead earphones. Mm. So there's loads of other solutions. These I don't, I don't, I don't recommend these. They are pretty useless. However, some people do like them, but I don't. Number two. Silicone protectors. Oh, ah. So squidgy. So these oh. are meant to go onto the front and protect your quest from bashing and stuff oh. like that. Mm -hmm. But generally, because they're made of this flimsy silicone, they move around, they cover up the sensors, This and they can stop the heat escaping as well. This does have little holes for the heat, but it might not necessarily be on there. This it, one doesn't. No, not at all. Uh, it makes it harder to find the buttons. If you've got any uh, attachments, they'll get covered up as well because if they're you, only designed for they're only designed for what's already there. If you're boxing and you accidentally hit your headset because it's not very thick, you're not really going to protect your headset very well. Mm, I mean, it'll help from scratching things like that. It does help in terms of protection, but it's just not very good because it wrecks the tracking. Mm. So, what's better than this then, Jess? Mm. Our VR shells from AMVR. Red. And blue. Yay. Yay. And but they've got the vents, haven't they? Yep. So we've got our little vents at the top there. Pretty sure that they, uh, because they come in uh, smoked black kind of colour and uh, clear colour, which actually is the one I'm going to get eventually. 
Yeah, at first they weren't vented, so the heat they were overheating a bit, but they all are now. So I think I think even the white, the clear ones and the black ones are mm -hmm. too. Also, um, because they don't fully cover up the thing, you've got room for this little thing here, which is an attachment, so you can quickly put on your amazing wireless uh, microphone. They are good. The mod mic they are from so good. Amp Lion, and you can't do that on the silicone ones because it fully covers up the side. Mm. So yeah, they're good. Uh, also, silicone controller covers are all in one ones, they're really flimsy. They've got holes for the sensors, but because they move around a bit, they're not great. They're, they're okay, they don't move loads, but they can move slightly and it doesn't take that much to be able to uh, block off the tracking. Uh, there's been a few times when I've been playing Beat Saber and I've totally lost it because of these. And it doesn't happen on... These! Yay! The ones from VR Cover, which we've mentioned loads of times. So, we've got the VR Cover Halo covers. And we've got, you've got the Vacdon Aligo grips. I use the Kiwi Pro grips. They're both about as good as each other, depending on if you want a hard strap or a more stretchy strap. Or if you want not much knobble, or if you want some knobble. And the grips for your fingers. There you go, grips for your fingers a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. There, yeah, grips your fingers. Super novel. And it's sturdier as well. Yeah. If this video is helping you decide what not to buy for your Quest 2, then... Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Number one! So the number one most useless VR accessory is... Controller gun covers. What do you reckon? Sadly, I'm going to have to agree. Whilst they, they do look cool as an accessory, they don't really enhance your gameplay. The they? main problem is you can't see them. Yeah, you can't see them. So you, you've got your eyes covered up, you're holding your controllers, uh, you've got these on them, and you're going pew, 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 pew. Um, they add a tiny bit of weight, but pretty much negligible. Mm. Uh, and you can't even see what's going on. Yeah. This one has this spring on it that, that doesn't do anything. But yeah, they're absolutely pointless. So have you got a good alternative? Save your money. Don't need one. Yeah, don't buy don't one need, at all. Don't need when one. When you're holding a Quest controller and you're shooting like a gun, you've got a trigger and it feels like you've got a gun anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, pointless. Um, unlike the Wii ones, like people might, might say the, the Wii gun controllers are useless, but remember, Wii's are ones. So if you're in a playing a gun game and you're trying to shoot something, you, you're doing that with a, like a remote control, basically, mm. which isn't doesn't feel like you've got a gun, but the gun with the gun controllers for a Wii, it makes it then feel like a gun with a controller on the top. you've got a trigger, it's having the trigger action, exactly, which yeah. you've already got, like but you these say. These already feel like guns, so yeah. absolutely pointless. Not to be confused with the gun stocks, where you can put two controllers onto a gun stock mm. and, and fire rifles in a game. They are actually pretty useful, because they do actually keep your hands at the same distance. Um, they can be quite expensive. The ones from ProChi were about 150, 160 euros. Ooh. However, there is a cheaper one that I didn't try, but it seems to work exactly the same way, and that's about 60 euros. And there's lots of different alternatives as well. So they are pretty useful, because it does make you feel like you've got like a rifle, but single pistol add-ons are pretty, pretty And how pointless. much are these? Uh, they're not, luckily, they're not too expensive. They're about 10 to 20 euros, dollars, okay. pounds, but they're still, they're still a bit of a waste. They're kind of cool. So if you like accessories, you know, fair enough. But they're just not useful. That's all. Mm. And this video is about being useless. Not necessarily being bad. Of all the things that we've got, all the things we looked at today, I think the only bad things I would say is the Oculus Quest case, which is kind of useful because you can put stuff in it, but it's not very good. And also the, the, the silicone uh, protectors for your controllers and for your Quest 2 itself. They're useful in that they can offer protection for your controllers and your Quest 2. They're just not very good. So there we have it, the top five most useless VR accessories. If you actually really did like those products or you've got some better alternatives of your own, can you please let us know in the comments? We always like reading that, don't we? We do. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to stick around for the VR entertainment and information, don't forget to subscribe and do hit that bell so you don't miss any videos that YouTube thinks that you won't like. We've been Alan Jess. Thank you for watching the VR Cauldron. Take care and hope to see you next time. See ya!
<laughs> Number two. I'm going to be neat. No, no, no. Am I going to do two? two. No. <laughs> Am I going to do two? I can't do that. I don't know. Well, you can do that.